what's up you guys so we're gonna just pause this real quick because this video is of course a sponsored video by a company for fashion hair I'll post the information below however you know I do have an extreme important policy that I give to each company who does contact me via email to review their hair it's about a five to six weeks process especially if I have to make the wig as you guys will notice I do show a screenshot of my actual policy just a small portion of it because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to read the entire thing plus you know what I'm saying I want to guys give you guys the heads up of what's going on so let me tell you guys I did notice that I was receiving emails on a daily basis from Fab Fashion Hair a young lady that by the name of Vina at the company once I tell you that I'm going to do your video and you send me the hair, I really would appreciate it if you do not contact me every day asking me when my video be ready, when my video be ready. So after a while, I start to ignore your emails while I'm just working on the unit because I think you're being really impatient. Not only that, but I find like, as you guys see this screenshot here, Vina took it upon herself on Friday of last week to email me and call me all kind of thieves and such stating that I stole her hair and that I need to pay for the hair. Meanwhile, the wig and the video was already recorded, just not edited. Now, I did return the email to her stating that there's no way I need to steal your hair as I have plenty of hair on my own or of my own. Amongst that, I have many videos to accomplish, record, and edit. edit. So I really don't need to steal anybody's hair. It's just that simple. After receiving my email, she then goes back and forth with me asking me why I did not reply to her email. I told her, I don't feel the need to have to reply to your email on a daily basis when I already gave you a time frame. Once the video is done, it'll be posted. Well, mind you, this was on a Friday. Two days later, which was on a Sunday, and I posted a video on YouTube, which was not even my own video, but my son's. Did I see the comment of Vina from Fur Fashion Hair? down below once again being disrespectful and accusing me or uh, yeah accusing me of stealing their hair very unprofessional once I've already spoken to you and not only was it on a Sunday but has also continued today and today is Thursday so therefore I just wanted to put that out there never ever be disrespectful and unprofessional to me or any other person that you expect you know some type of review from I would also like to thank one of my viewers or subscribers that replied to Vina in the actual uh, comment below but yeah we're gonna continue this video and I'm not gonna bash but I'm just gonna be honest about the hair quality because it is what it is straight up so now that we back into business, the hair that they sent me is actual body wave hair. They sent me four bundles, two 16s, a 14, a 14, and I do believe it was a 12 inch closure. Either way, you know what I'm saying, I will post the specs below. Of course I created it on a dome cap and I did bleach the knots of this closure. You know, for a grade of, on a scale of one to five with five stars or one to ten excuse me with ten being the best what are my real true honest opinions like i always give you guys on this hair quality listen it's like about a i would i would rate it at like about a six and a half it's not the best and it's not the worst hair in the world however if i needed to steal anything trust me it would not be any hair okay if a girl gonna steal she gonna steal like if you're gonna do something if you're gonna do a crime do it big time i don't need to steal any hair and especially if it's just like, you know, on a scale of one to 10, like a six, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have to steal any hair in general. I have a whole big closet full of bundles of my own that I have purchased. Okay. So as you guys see me here, the hair, like I stated, it's in a low luster. It's decent quality hair. Was it worth the headache? Not at all. Was it worth the disrespect? Definitely not at all. If you guys want to check their website out, you can definitely do that. I'm going to post it below. I'm not going to say their hair is bad, and I'm not going to say that I'm doing flips over it either. However, I'm just going to say this. The video would have went great if it was all about being patient. But being that it was not, we're just going to just record, and I'm going to say whatever comes out of my mouth. So, on that note, I just want to say this. And this is on a professional standpoint. When someone gives you a policy and the requirements, 
you do not need to email them on a daily basis asking them when is my video going to be finished okay I don't care if you pay me or not you're not going to rush me and you're definitely not going to disrespect me so yes this was a paid video and that's fine but it probably won't be now after I've said what I had to say and that's fine too I just really don't take keen to disrespect at all you know what I mean this is a business it's a professional business for me and I handle each and every one of my customers or clients with respect and in that being said I deserve and expect the same in return now this was a first time for me ever working with this company and it will also be the last time okay the hair quality is decent if you need affordable hair then you can check them out if you don't want to that's your preference as well but I think for my own sake I did a damn good job with this wig you know I did not use all the bundles because I didn't need to because they were 16 inches you know but I think that the style that I applied it in and the techniques that I used I think the hair came out really well you know I did pre pluck the hairline as you guys can see and I added my own little touch to it and I think the hair is nice you know what I'm saying like it's affordable it's very affordable it isn't like top-notch but you know I think like hair is hair as long as you know how to style it take care of it and hook it up then girl you good seriously but yeah low luster it was Brazilian body wave you know what I mean it is affordable it kind of reminded me of these bundles that I had purchased a long time ago off of Amazon which were decent but they were not my favorite um, and with that being said it would probably not be a vendor that I would you know actually purchase from again but just from my experience alone with this vendor I think like you know what a lot of people need to go to school again and learn how professionalism is taught I don't really push out two videos in one day, but for this particular one, I felt the need because I was just dead up tired of the disrespect, especially did you leave a comment on my son's freaking video. But you know what guys, it is what it is. So as you guys see, for fashion, hair didn't make me look cute. I made their hair look cute. Hello. You know what? I did say that and I meant it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this informative video. And on that note, stay diva and divalicious. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.